Welcome to Indianapolis, the crossroads of America. As the capital city of Indiana, Indianapolis has earned its reputation as a hub for sports, culture, business, and limestone. But did you know that the city is also surrounded by some of the best suburbs in the Midwest? From Fishers, known as the Nickel Plate District, to Carmel, dubbed the City of Roundabouts, these suburbs offer a unique blend of small-town charm and big-city amenities. For those considering a move to the Hoosier State, it's worth noting that Indianapolis home prices are among the most affordable in the country. So let's take a tour of the best suburbs to live in Indianapolis and discover what makes them so special. Greenwood if you work downtown or anywhere on the south side of Indianapolis, Greenwood is perhaps the most convenient suburb to live in, with a commute time of under 30 minutes. Firstly, Greenwood is often overshadowed by other suburbs on the north side, but it has a lot to offer. Secondly, it's reasonably large, which means that it has plenty of choices when it comes to homes. You'll find more single-family homes and condos, and you'll never be far from anything you need. However, you can find a beautiful home in the $315,000 range, making it an excellent option for those looking to live in a suburban area without breaking the bank. The average rent for apartments is between $1,042 and $1,318. Moreover, Greenwood boasts over 14 parks, covering about 270 acres, giving residents plenty of outdoor space to enjoy. Additionally, Greenwood has aquatic parks for those who want to cool off in the summer heat. The Freedom Springs Aquatic Park features water slides, a lazy river, and a 25-meter lap pool, offering something for swimmers of all ages. Lastly, the schools are highly rated and have a good reputation. The unique thing about Greenwood is that you can have a Greenwood address but go to one of three different school districts. Cicero could be considered the gem of the smaller, yet family-friendly suburbs of Indianapolis, often overlooked by those seeking a suburban lifestyle. Although it is located on the northern end of the Indy area, making it a bit of a drive for those commuting to downtown, the benefits of living in Cicero are plentiful. Cicero is located near Morse Reservoir, offering a similar experience to what you would enjoy at Geist Reservoir, but on a smaller and calmer scale. In Cicero, there are several school district options, all of which are highly rated, a common feature among many suburbs in the Indianapolis area. Cicero Red Ridge Park is a beautiful spot to enjoy the outdoors, and the downtown area is thriving, with many charming shops and restaurants. Cicero is also home to its very own golf course, something none of the other small suburbs on our list offer. The average rent for a one-bedroom apartment is around $950 per month, while a two-bedroom apartment can cost around $1,754 per month. On the other hand, the median home cost is around $367,000. Although it may be smaller in scale than some of the larger suburbs in Indianapolis, Cicero's charm and affordability make it a true hidden gem. Vice District The largest reservoir in Indianapolis. Many people may assume that Indiana is just full of cornfields and wheat fields, but Geist District proves that wrong. This area is surrounded by several large reservoirs, and Geist happens to be the biggest one. It's a highly residential area. Geist District is comprised of 36 neighborhoods that surround the reservoir, with many offering waterfront property. However, even if you don't have waterfront property, you can still own a home and have access to the water. While there are multi-million dollar homes on the main body of the reservoir or just off it, there are also many relatively inexpensive homes, depending on neighborhood you're in. The district is highly sought after, and it's easy to see why. However, living here can have its challenges. The topography is wooded, and the roads are curvy, 
which makes commuting to Indianapolis a bit difficult, especially on the west side of the reservoir. There are also limited options for crossing the reservoir, which can create traffic during rush hour. Despite these challenges, the Geist is enormously popular due to its residential feel and proximity to amenities. The Geist offers the perfect blend of lake life and city living, making it an attractive place to call home. Noblesville Located on the northern end of the Indianapolis area is our next great suburb. However, if you have a daily commute to Indianapolis, this area may not be the best fit for you as it takes about 45 minutes to drive from Noblesville to Indianapolis, even without traffic. Despite being far from the city, Noblesville has its own charm and commerce. The downtown area boasts an original town square and the historic courthouse, located at the center of the square. Homes here are priced around $366,000, offering excellent value for money. The average rent for a one-bedroom apartment is $1,410. Although Noblesville is a bit of a drive from the city, the trade-offs are well worth it. Morse Reservoir, one of the largest reservoirs in the state, borders Noblesville and a great location for boating, fishing, swimming, and other lake activities, offering year-round fun and beautiful scenery. Westfield stands out as the fastest growing area on our list. With new construction happening all around, more and more people are choosing to move to Westfield every year. One of the highlights of this thriving community is Grand Park Sports Campus, one of the largest sports complexes in the country, attracting visitors from all over for championship games held at the facility. The downtown area is also steeped in history, however, as Westfield continues to grow, it's worth noting that homes in the area tend to be large and pricey, with the median home cost averaging around $475,000 almost $100,000 more than what you find in Greenwood. The average rent for apartments is between $1,063 and $1,700. Even though it's a bit further out from the city, much like Noblesville, there are still plenty of activities to enjoy in this suburb. One of the most exciting attractions is Urban Vines, where residents can enjoy local wine and beer in cozy heated igloos during the winter months. Some of the popular attractions include the Monon Trail and the Westfield Farmer's Market. Zionsville. Located just eight miles northwest of Indianapolis, Zionsville is consistently ranked among the best places to live, both in Indiana and across the nation. It offers a small town atmosphere while being conveniently located near metropolitan amenities. This charming area boasts a population of nearly 26,000 people, with many families attracted to the highly rated schools. With 17 parks and facilities, spanning over 400 acres of parkland, it's affectionately known as a town within a park. If you're looking for a suburban lifestyle with plenty of space, it's worth considering. The median home value is around $726,000, and the median rent is between $1,544 and $1,999 per month. Some of the popular attractions include the Zionsville Farmer's Market, the Hussey Mayfield Memorial Public Library, and the Zion Nature Center. Ranked second on our list, Fishers is one of America's fastest growing communities, currently home to 86,000 residents. Fishers stand out for its entrepreneurial spirit, affordable homes, quality healthcare, diverse business sector, and access to Interstate 69. The median home price in Fishers is $399,000 and the median rent is between $1,205 and $2,080 per month, placing it on the pricier end of the spectrum for housing costs in this suburb. However, the city's vibrant downtown area, which is currently undergoing a lot of new construction, 
offers walkable streets and a reduced traffic environment. Another unique feature of the Fishers area is the Geist Reservoir, located on its eastern border. Today, it remains a beautiful water feature to enjoy, whether it's through owning a boat or soaking up the sun on the banks. You can enjoy fresh local produce at the Fishers Farmers Market and attend live music performances and movie screenings at the Nickel Plate District Amphitheater. Golf enthusiasts have numerous clubs and courses to choose from. Additionally, Fishers offers a plethora of dining options, with over 100 restaurants to choose from. Carmel. Located on the edge of Indianapolis, it's a picturesque town situated in Hamilton County and has a population of 98,137. It provides a suburban ambience, with a majority of residents owning their homes. The town's also known for its excellent public schools, which rank among the best. The low crime rates and pristine surroundings contribute to its appeal, making it a highly sought-after area. Despite the relatively high property prices, the excellent amenities and features of the town justify the cost for those seeking an exceptional living standards. Despite the many benefits of living in Carmel, property prices in the area can be steep. However, this is to be expected in one of the most desirable areas to live in the country. For those who can afford it, the median home value is around $471,000 and the median rent is between $1,078 and $1,900 per month. Additionally, residents can enjoy the nearby Brookshire Golf Course and shopping and dining options along Gray Road and 126th Street. All Things Considered, Greenwood, Indiana is a hidden gem that offers a lot to those looking to move to the Indianapolis area. Whether you choose to rent or buy, Cicero offers an affordable and family-friendly suburban lifestyle with a unique charm and plenty of recreational opportunities. At the end, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon, share the video, also leave your valuable comment below. See you in the next one.